What is going on everyone? This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to aggregate records of a dataset with AWS Glue Studio using the aggregate transform with no code. If you're not familiar with AWS Glue Studio, check out my overview video here. All right, so we're in the AWS Glue Visual Job Editor, and I've already went ahead to bring in our data set we want to aggregate. So if we click on the Data Preview button of our data set, we can see here we have three different columns. And what we're going to be doing is getting the total sales per customer. So we're going to want to aggregate on the customer ID. So in order to use the aggregate transform, we're going to hit the transform button, and we're going to add it to our canvas by finding the aggregate transform. Now, by default, it might connect it to your only data set if you have one in your canvas. Now, because I want to aggregate by my customer ID, I'm going to select the customer ID as the group by field. And now I want to select the column we want to aggregate. So I'm going to hit the aggregate another column, and we're going to select the total amount. Now, there's a lot of different aggregate functions, so we have to click the aggregate function drop down to select what we want. So because I want the total sales by each customer, I'm going to select the sum. And now we can select the output schema to see what's going to be outputted. So as you notice, the order ID column is now gone. And if we hit the data preview button, we're going to see now we have the customer ID and the sum by each customer ID. Now it's important to know the data types of the columns you want to aggregate, because if your data is a text, for example, you can't simply do a sum on it. Text variables don't aggregate up. Now, one thing to know about this transformer, we're not limited to adding only one aggregate column. So we can add another one and use that same total amount column. And we can also add the average if we wanted to know what the average sale was by customer. And if we hit the data preview button again, and after our data loads, we now see we have a new column that has been added. And we now have the sum and the average sale by customer. Now, before you write it out, one thing you might want to change is we look at the column names. We have these brackets in there, and a lot of times we don't want special characters in our column names. So there's two transforms out of the box we can use to rename our columns. If we were just renaming one column, we can hit the transform button and select the rename field. And from here, we would select the column that we want to name and hit sum. And if we hit the preview button, we'll see that the column has been renamed. However, in my case, this isn't ideal because I have more than one column. It would be nice if this transform was able to do multiple, but what we can do is just remove that and we're going to hit the transform. And now we're going to select the apply mapping. And we're going to make sure that is connected to our aggregate transform. And now under the transform properties, we can give it a new name. So I'm just going to remove the total amount and we're going to leave this as average as well. And now if we hit our data preview, give it a second for our data to load, you're going to see that we renamed the columns accordingly. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful on how to aggregate your data using the aggregate transform in AWS Glue Studio. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing if you want to learn more about working with data on AWS. See you next time.